How many years have you been with Don Haslett? 25 years. 25. So you've been here as long as I've been here. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to have right. you back, sir. Thanks, Dave. Nice to see you. <laughs> John Holden, I like to say, is the first deputy in command yeah. in, John, and then, uh, in Don Haslett's cleaning army. This is four easy payments tonight, a $5.11. It's customer top rated, and it's a microfiber mop with extra mop heads. Yes. And also some different mop heads to help you with different kinds of cleaning. There's three kinds of pads here. So uh, let's. I'll look at the coral first. What you're looking at here are three of what I call the multi-purpose pads. This is for your hardwood floors. It's for your laminate floors. This is going to be your favorite mop head. Now, if you have ceramic tile, come down here a little bit. I call this the noodle head. This has long chenille fingers on it. That's going to get into the grout on your tile, and it's also super absorbent. And over here, it's also a dust mop. This is going to pick up 40 times more dust than those disposable pads. And we have three different choices to, to, to choose from. Now, the color closest to me is called green. Yep. The one in the middle is coral. And Sean, you were telling me about coral is most limited. Yep. And then finally closest to you, John, is the blue. Yeah. So you're going to begin with one of the microfiber mop pads, I believe. Yeah, the multi-purpose pad. Now, I got these wet before you came to me yep. in, in your sink over there. I rang it out really well. It's, feel that. It's only damp. It's damp. That's how you mop a hardwood floor. And that's what I want to start on. Now, I'm going to do a, a 45 degree angle on this floor. There's muddy footprints all over this. I did this hours ago, but watch this. When I go past this, I'm all done, but here's the best part. When you're done mopping with this, I can put my fingers down here. This floor is already dry. Wow. Now, where did the dirt go? Let me flip this upright. No, oh, there it is. It's in the microfiber pad. Now, I only did a little area. This mop head will do about 500 square feet, and then you put it in the washer, put it in the dryer. Now, when you wash them, use detergent, but no fabric softener because it's microfiber. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to keep the pad on. I want to go up to a laminate floor now because if you have laminate floors, there's no glue holding the pieces together. So you can't get these oversaturated. Now I'm going to mop half of this floor once up and once back. I'll do it twice. Now I want, I want to hold this up so that the camera can look how nice and clean and shiny that is, but it's not wet. Over here you can see all the, the muddy footprints there. So do you want to have a floor that looks like this? or that looks like this, okay? I think you, you know the choice. And again, it's the same mop head that I'm using. I'm gonna keep on going with this pad, and then I wanna show you the scrubby pad. Now this is oak hardwood flooring over here. I'm not even gonna press on the mop. I'm just gonna slide it forward. I'm gonna slide it backwards. It's the microfiber doing the work, not me. Can you see the difference? There's a high gloss finish right there. It's not wet, that's a high gloss finish. Or you can see the other side that is all dull and dingy. So that's the multi-purpose pad, okay? So what I want to show you next is I'll, I'll show you in the green color. This is what we call the chenille pad. Now this has all the long noodles on it. Right. Now I got this one wet before we started, okay? I rang it out really well, but take a look at my floor down here. Now what I have here is some barbecue sauce. I'm gonna get that all over the floor. I'm gonna add some mustard to that. I'm gonna put some ketchup on top of that. Okay, so a little clogged up here. Oh, okay. Here we go, a big scrooge. All, right. all right, well forget the ketchup, but here I've got a, a kid's crayon that I'm gonna scribble all over the floor. Now that's a really bad day. Okay, here we go. I'm going to mop with it. That wasn't clogged up before, but that was four hours ago. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I just cleaned half of that to show you. There's nothing sticky left behind. If you took a paper towel to wipe this up, it, it, the floor would still be sticky. But here, I got the ketchup, I got the mustard, I got the barbecue sauce, I got rid of that kid's crayon. Streak free, chemical free, those noodles get down into the grout lines as well. Now, I rinse that into my sink before I throw it in my washer just to get the sticky stuff off of it. And then it comes out clean as a whistle. Per yeah, perfect. Now, we, we tell you uh, not to put these in with any kind of fabric softener right. or fabric softener sheets. In fact, it's best to hang these to dry. And I believe, John, is that right? I throw them in the dryer. Oh, do you? Yeah, okay, but no fine. dryer sheets. It's important to know that this is customer top rated. And how many gone now, Sean? 300 are gone. I've got a set in blue, most popular, then the coral, most limited. And then the green. Don't miss out on this. It's four easy payments on your credit card of just $5.11. And uh, John, walk us through. 
Okay, well, this is in your bathroom. You know, if you got, I have a teenage son, so I always mop around there. In between your washer and Let's dryer. Let's just be clear. Yeah, okay. If there are boys in your house, you need to mop around the toilet. There you go. Okay, just enough said. <laughs> now, this is the duster head. That's the one I have in my hand right now. If you've got pets, you've got pet hair that gets under your furniture. It gets, and if you're mopping with this, it gets right up against your baseboards, your kick plates, and it gets under the lip of your refrigerator, your stove. It gets places where you can't get a sponge or a string mop. And it's only water, no chemicals. You don't want to put chemicals in your hardwood because it leaves a residue. And a lot of the chemicals are not good for the polyurethane. Yep. But here, I, there's a ton of dust in, in your guys' studio here. So I've been dusting your whole floor here. But I, wanted, I want you to see this. I'm going to flip this up so the camera this can see. This is going to be embarrassing. Yeah, this is your guys' floor here at QVC. Ooh. That's a lot of dust. Here, here's the size of a disposable pad right here. This will pick up three dust bunnies and then you throw it in the garbage pail. And then go buy, <laughs> and buy, buy more. Another box and another box. This is washable, reusable. This, I use this pad almost every day because I've got an 18-year-old cat and he sheds like you wouldn't believe. What's your 18-year-old cat's name? Frankie. Frankie. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Frankie runs the place. All right. This is me, 35428. 600 of these are now gone. And you know the best part of everything that John is showing you? Every time one of these mop heads or these pads get dirty, yeah. you simply throw it in the washing machine right. and you use it again and again and again. Your hands never have to touch the yuck. Because as soon as you're done, you can you can actually pull it off with your foot. Yeah. And then you can just hold it there and because it's all hook and loop on the back. So this floor actually looked clean before I mopped it. If you mop with a sponge or string mop, go over your floor with microfiber. That floor doesn't look any different, does it? But look at the dirt that's on my pad. This will this will pick up dirt that you didn't know was on the floor. Now these pads are much wider than the floor base. When you get up against your baseboards, watch what happens. It's going to curl right up against the wall, and you can see see how that... And up around the quarter round. Exactly. Yeah. So you get right tight against the wall. I mean, this is going to get under your dining table, under your furniture. Look how flat this lays. Perfectly flat, so when you mop with this, you're getting underneath things that you can't do that with a sponge or a string mop. Is there a wardrobe or an armoire or a chest of drawers in a room where you really can't get under there very easily because the opening is very narrow? This allows you to get in there and really do the job. 1,100 of these are now <laughs> gone. Right. Let's go through our choices real quickly, Okay, John. sure. Yeah. Got it in the green for you. Now, I want to remind you, you get the, the the mop itself with the handle, and these are all clicked together handle pieces. Yeah, simple. You need no tools for this. No tools. So here's your green. Most limited is coral, and most popular is the blue. Yeah. All of this coming together for four payments of five dollars eleven cents. Customer top rated, John. It is. Oh, great. And a really fantastic offer. And you're going to use these pads over and over and over again around the toilet, around areas where you don't necessarily want to be able to clean or you can't reach. Look how nicely it goes between the washer dryer. Yeah, and again, if you mop with a sponge or string mop, go over your floor with this. You will find dirt you didn't know you had. You'll find dust that you never thought you were going to be able to get to. Your vacuum couldn't even get underneath there. But I tell you, in your kitchen, you always have grease, cooking oil on your floor. I always wipe my countertops with microfiber towels, and then I mop the floor with a microfiber mop. Best thing to happen to cleaning in the past 50 years. Customer top rated. This is also four easy payments on your credit card. All of it coming together for you. V35428. Want all of you to stay on the line for this. And John, looking forward to having you back with us again. Thanks, you David. always make cleaning a <laughs> whole lot more simple. Um, hey, and how many are gone now? Over 1,800 of these are now gone. Thank you, sir. Hey, let me tell you also. Not going to have time for this, but it is available. It's a 9 by 13 glass pan, 